Uh, so the future of drone journalism is important because you're talking about a low-cost technology, you're talking about exciting applications that you can do with this uh, equipment. Uh, actually, I have uh, a mantra which is old stories, new perspectives. 2012 and there was the African News Innovation Challenge and it was basically a competition that was like uh, asking African journalists to uh, propose digital solutions uh, to address challenges that African journalists are facing when they're uncovering stories. So I pitched uh, African Skycam and the idea that I had then was based on, how I looked at how the broadcast media in Kenya were covering floods. So we had floods in the country and I looked at uh, the pictures and the whole coverage and two things stood out for me. One was I felt journalists were risking their lives because in that, situ in that situation we had journalists like hiring fishermen to roll them about to get as close as possible to stories, um, uh, risking life and, and expensive equipment. And then the other bit of the story is that journalists were like hitching a ride in police helicopters to get aerial perspectives of, uh, of the, you know, the scale of the disaster. And for me there was an issue of editorial independence. So I pitched drones as a, a low-cost option uh, for, uh, for journalists. Um, unlike expensive, you know, pretty much like an alternative to, uh, to a helicopter, uh, and as well editorial independence. You know, we have a professional interest in using this equipment, and the idea was how, how can I reach out to the people in the space uh, who are really concerned about uh, you know, what's happening with the, with the regulation, who want to put a case for the use of drone journalists. So that network exists in the States, and uh, I reached out to them, uh, and with support from uh, the Knight Fellowship, you know, that's why we're here today.